Hello and welcome to a short video for parents on how to help them help their students access their McGraw-Hill High School Science programs remotely. We have our students at home more these days, don't we? So how do we help them be successful while they're at home, stay engaged, access the content, and that sort of thing? In order to do that, you need to be a little bit more familiar with the platform that they use every single day because they may be in communication with their teachers now uh, online more than they were before in the past. So let's take a look at the biology program. I'm going to access the program by clicking on the textbook or the title or this launch button. Now how your students get to the site may de uh, depend on how their district has set this up. For some it might be a username and password that they use to access to get to this page. Others may get to it through a district site. Just ask your student what their username and password is or how do they get to their book in their high school science program. Then I'm going to click on that book and I'm going to see a screen that looks like this. Now, one of the things that I'll have over here is an ebook. Now, that's a digital version of the book. Now, they may or may not have their book at home. That book may be a class set that the teacher keeps in class and they don't have access to that book, that print physical book at home, but they do have access to it digitally. Just flip through the pages if they'd like. They can make any page larger if they'd like. They could zoom right into it. Uh, right into the specific section. They can highlight this book. They can annotate it. They could use it just like they use a regular book. Over here in the left-hand side of the page, there's a digital table of contents that will take them to any chapter and any lesson they want to get into in the program. It'll hyperlink them directly there, and then they can navigate from that uh, place on. So there's an ebook here. Every student has one. Make sure they're aware of it. It's in the upper right-hand corner. I also have a Learn Smart button. Now, Learn Smart is an adaptive, personalized learning tool. It's another great tool that can be used remotely. So, how does it differ from that ebook that I just saw? What Learn Smart does, and your students are probably already aware of it, is that it combines the book with also dynamic questions that make sure students are engaged all the time. And so, let's see what it looks like. So, here I have my digital table of contents, and let's say we're in cell structure and function. I click on it. So what am I going to see if I'm in cell structure and function? You might want to ask your student what they happen to be learning at the time. So I have a book over here at the right, and I could make this as large as I'd like, and I could flip through the pages to the next page if I like to get into that content. It becomes pre-highlighted for me. The essential content on that page is highlighted. And I can read with this pre-highlighting. It targets my focus and my understanding. If you don't want these other pages to appear, just click on this icon right here, and they'll disappear from you. And I could read this book just like I did that other book. And I can make it a little bit larger if I'd like. But anytime if I want to, I can also access this practice. So I've got this practice that's asking me questions. And I can also uh, go to my right here and read more about this. So it's this back and forth between reading and constantly being assessed that creates this Learn Smart experience. It's a great dynamic way to go through the content in your high school science program. So that's one thing that you could do in the, in the program. You could read the book, uh, which is found on the home screen in the upper right-hand corner, or you could go to Learn Smart here and access the book this way. The other resources are located up here in the upper left-hand corner by clicking Menu, and then Resources. So any student resource that um, the teacher might hand out is here. How about these Applying Practices activities? These are great project-based learning opportunities to talk about real-world challenges, they're often asked to use the engineering design loop to come up with a creative solution to this problem. This is a great activity to do remotely. Uh, make your students aware of them or have them do it at home if it hasn't been assigned by the teacher. So I've got several of them here in my program resources section. Now I have two drop down menus, one that will allow me to choose the chapter that I want support for. And then within that chapter, I've got different locations here. So I've got an overview section with some real world biology activities really cool stuff to apply the science uh, to real world uh, concepts. I've got an interactive frog dissection here, an interactive worth earthworm dissection here. I have uh, an enrichment activity here. I Even if you're a, a parent that speaks Spanish, I've got a, a, a book here that's available in Spanish as well. So this could be something that you use with the program, with the, uh, program to help students remotely. Over here, if I want to go from the overview to, let's say, section three, I've got animations here. I have interactive tables. I have something called a reading essentials. Let's take a look at it. 
It's a lower level read of the textbook, written two to three grade levels below it. It's cleaner. It's a little bit easier to understand. Remember that is there. If I go to the next page, there's another companion piece. Actually, it's the previous page. Uh, a science notebook. So this is the Cornell system for notes. So they can read the book and then organize information into note taking. Great tool to use remotely. It may be something that your teacher has already assigned. There are self-check quizzes that students can take at any time to check for their understanding after they've read the notebook or the book. These are just some of the resources that are found in the McGraw-Hill uh, High School Science Program. Where would I start? Remember you have the ebook here. Remember we have an alternative version of the ebook that we find in program resources. Let's go to program resources and we call that the Learn Smart Book. Note it, remember that we have prog uh, uh, project based learning opportunities here. And then from there, I would go to a specific chapter and a specific lesson that you really want to drill into. And then you have all these different variety of opportunities. Choose the one that you're comfortable with and maybe do it together with your students or at home, at home, or at least make them aware of the options that they have available to them. This has been a short tour of the McGraw-Hills High School Science Programs online. Now, if you have any questions about this as, while we're working in this remote environment, please feel, please feel free to reach out to your local McGraw-Hill representative.